What's up, guys? What if I can't... What if you guys was driving and you're on a load and you, you know, going about your business? You know, you woke up this morning, you got your load assignment, you picked up the load and now you're on your way to get the load only to be called to stop. Stop what you're doing. Drop everything. Pull over to the side, find a truck stop. The whole company is shutting down today. What do you do? Let's talk about it. All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take your time. The clock is ticking. So stay. All you have to do is stay. What's going on guys? Lockout Men here, back with another video. What's up? What's going on? Let me just sit down and talk with you for a minute. So usually I would wake up in the morning and go on my Facebook and all that other good stuff to come up with some good topics for you guys. But this topic been out for a while and I'm just now catching up on it. Where I'm going? Y'all want to know where I'm going? Well, I'm about to head downtown right quick. I know it's a little bit early, but I figured since today's my last day, you know, I will actually be going out on the road tomorrow. I thought I'd head downtown right quick. I, I did want to come on and, you know, talk to you guys about, about what's going on in the trucking world. I, I, I talk trucks, right? Right? Anyway, anyway. Falcon Transport out of Ohio. I'm not exactly sure where they at. Some people say Columbus. Some people say Akron. Some people say Youngstown. I'm not sure where they at. I believe that, I believe that they are a flatbed company. Um, they called their drivers and told them to pull over, find a truck stop. Stop driving. We're done. We're shutting down operations today. Falcon Transport drivers parked their trucks at the company's Parma lot, the company telling them it is closed, out of business, and they are out of work. We got an email, Texas, that uh, 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 one of the supervisors uh, said that, uh, you know, leave your trucks, don't come to work Monday. I was talking to one of the uh, one of the guys and he was telling me that uh, a lot of drivers, as soon as they got the message, they were literally just dropping their trailers and heading home with their truck. The sudden announcement impacting more than 500 employees, drivers, fuel cards not working. Some were left stranded on the road. I have a driver who lives in Florida right now that's stranded in the Austin town yard and has not received his paycheck and doesn't even have money for food tonight. I may have to go down and give him some money just for food tonight if he doesn't get paid by the morning. The Youngstown-based company reportedly had as one of its biggest customers the GM Lordstown assembly plant that shut down in March. We were uh, obviously hauling the equipment uh, for them that, uh, you know, they were either manufacturing the vehicles or the products to uh, assemble the vehicles as well. Um, they were doing that frequently. Uh, we had round-the-clock service for them, 24 hours. And now other customers will not be able to get their deliveries. There's a lot of freight in these trailers here. I don't know what they're gonna, how they're gonna deliver them. In fact, we're told that one of the trucks parked here at the Falcon Parma Yard has freight on it that needs to be delivered to the Home Depot right across the street. But the drivers say they can't move it, so they're not sure how it's going to get there. As of Sunday evening, the company had not issued any public statements. The employees say it would not have been as bad had they got advance notice. I've been personally trying to reach out to each individual as much as I can because there was no communication whatsoever from the company to the individual about any of that. Um, so it's kind of like a one man takes on everyone. Man, think, just think about it. You wake up this morning and you got your load and you, you want to, you know, you, you thinking that you're about to make this 2,000 mile run and all of a sudden you get a SATCOM message saying, hey, uh, we need you to stop running. 
We're, we're not, we're ceasing operations as of today. And you're in your truck, like, that is a scary feeling. You know, that is real scary. I, I know a company, uh, Arrow, back in the day, and I think another company back in the day stranded their drivers when they ceased, oper I mean, ceased operation. Now let's give you a bit some background on this case. It all happened nearly five years ago. Aero Trucking Company shut its doors three days before Christmas, canceling drivers' fuel cards, leaving them stranded all across America. Not only did 1,400 Aero Trucking employees suddenly not have a job, semi-drivers didn't have a truck. Trucks they were in the process of buying outright. Now come. That's crazy. That's crazy. Truck drivers for the flatbed truckload company Falcon Transport out of. Youngstown, Ohio said they received emails late April 27 stating that companies would shutter operations effective immediately. So they're out of Youngstown. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that Falcon Transportation was one of those companies that I was considering a long time ago. It's tough to, it is tough to vet these, these small companies. Uh, to get with, you know what I'm saying? You you get with one of these companies, and you know you thinking that the that's the best choice for you, but next thing you know, they're shutting operations down and 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 kicking you out. Mr. Pear, how do you explain the 15 million dollar cost overrun on the Phase One shuttle? Fifteen million dollars. Where did the fifteen million dollars go, Mr. Pear? I don't know. What do you think of the decision to scrap the whole project? Scrap the whole project? Have you thought about legal representation? What? Now that your job has been eliminated, sir, what are your personal plans? I just sharpened my pencil. The carrier has 723 trucks and nearly 585 drivers, according to the FMCSA Safer System. Jason Calhoun, director of operations of Falcon, confirmed the abrupt closure to freightways earlier April 28th, but provided no further details. Why would they? One Falcon transport driver said he and other drivers received a message from Calhoun around 8 p.m. April 27th, instructing them to stop any work for the company immediately but he hasn't been able to confirm any additional information about the closure. The driver told Freightways late April 27th that he is headed to his delivery destination to the GM plant in Arlington, Texas. He said his fuel card is still working and is receiving his paycheck on April 25th. This is April 29th. So hopefully the guys there was able to get paid. My thing is this, I'm hoping that they're able to get home because when a company abruptly stops, they stop everything. They, they stop your fuel card, they stop, you know, they, they, they stop everything and they want you to pretty much abandon the truck wherever you at and you're stuck getting home. What if you're one of those drivers that's working paycheck to paycheck? And there's a lot of you. All right. I'm just saying there's a lot of you. But you're working paycheck to paycheck and you all of a sudden got that call and said, yo, you need to pull the truck over. You need to stop immediately. How are you going to get home? How is it going to be possible? for you to get home. That's a scary thought, isn't it? I just sharpened my pencil. You're, you live up in the north, you know, in the north part of the country, and you're down in the south part of the country, thousands of miles away from home. Definitely, that Uber ride is gonna be one hell of a, one hell of a ticket. You know, maybe you're able to uh, grab a rental car, you know, but with rental cars, let me explain something about the rental cars. With the rental cars, you're gonna have to have a credit card, a legit credit card. Cause some rental companies, places do not take debit cards. There was a message that was posted on Facebook and YouTube Saturday night. 
uh, a guy from YouTube got up and and did a did a video about it. In the posting from Facebook, it says, "All Falcon employees, we regret to inform you that Falcon Transport is not able to continue operations and will be shutting down effective today. Please stop. Please stop work." you are doing for the company immediately you are not expected to return to work please be on the lookout for any further information we'll be sending you in this situation falcon was was purchased in a leveraged buyout by counterpoint capital partners a california-based private entity group so obviously they must have been brought out by another trucking company that was mixed in with, you know, other trucking companies that this company probably brought out. And it is, it's, it's sad. It's a sad state of affairs when you wake up in the morning only to be told that, you know, <laughs> you gotta, you, you gotta stop, you, you gotta stop driving. You gotta pull over the truck and you have no way into getting home. You know what I'm saying? You have no way into getting home at all. Falcon Transport. What do you guys think? Was Falcon Transport a, a company that you was considering? Um, if it was, are, are you feeling some kind of way now? And what about the drivers of Falcon Transport? Are you able, are, was you able to get home? Because you know, this story was last week. What, was you able to get home? Um, where, was you able to route the trucks back to the terminals? And what about Falcon themselves? I mean, uh, what, what is this? Just to shut down to reorganize the company? Are they gonna open back up as a different company? What's gonna happen there? I mean, it's a lot of, it's, it's a lot of questions. A lot of questions. Falcon Transport, closed. I just sharpened my pencil.